How's it, viewers of YouTube? My name is Tyler, aka Chico of Chico Crypto, and welcome to another episode of Crypto and a Cold One. Oh yeah. So if you haven't already, like, subscribe, and click that ringer bell button to be reminded when a new Chico video drops. Today's featured brew comes from Argentina. Quilmes, um, I don't know, it's a lager it looks like, and it's imported by Pampa Beverages. So let's get into this bad boy. Again, no cap game, because I can't bounce a cap while standing up, so. Yummy. So a major topic, which almost every YouTuber posted as their thumbnail in some shape or form over the past week, nice originality, guys and gals, has been, is Ethereum dead? Because Ethereum started to have a bearish correction, which was compounded by FUD. Great job, blue collar crypto, in explaining that Ethereum is not dead. Again, Ethereum is not dead, mark my words. But in my opinion, they have some major competition on the horizon, and I ain't talking about that shitcoin Tron. I'm talking about Elastos. Taking a computing perspective, a glaring problem for Ethereum is it's a public chain and it's not equipped with data storage or computational space. What Ethereum does is a transfer of tokens and payments and the programmability of Turing complete smart contracts based on some type of logic. You could then come to the conclusion that dApps on Ethereum can be categorized as smart contract dApps because data storage and computational logic is not handled by the public chain. According to Ethereum's official definition, Ethereum's full chain constitutes a world computer, where smart contract dApps all operate on its Turing complete computer. By having Ethereum's full P2P network on the public chain, it guarantees the operational environment the Ethereum virtual machine is secure and trustworthy for its dApps. This all sounds like roses and peaches, but with Ethereum, each time a smart contract is executed, all the nodes that are connected to the Ethereum public chain have to execute the same smart contract code in order to reach consensus. Therefore, anytime a new dApp comes into existence on Ethereum, every single node executes a smart contract that was added. So if Ethereum is referred to as the world computer, it's not a very efficient one because as new dApps are added and smart contracts are executed, this just puts more and more stress on the network nodes. You may say, why not just add more nodes? This does not matter because the hash rate can never exceed the limited hash rate of any of its individual nodes, making it unable to support the computing needs of the increasing number of dApps. We all know what this leads to congestion and the inability to scale, which means that Ethereum in its current form couldn't hope to support the app environment that the general public uses on their mobile phones. Elastos does not have these problems as they split and separate consensus logic from computational logic altogether. Elastos provides the most secure operating environment imaginable. What does this mean? Through the Elastos runtime, all dApps operate in a mutually divided, limited communication virtual machine sandbox environments. The runtime does three major things. Number one, it provides process isolation. Number two, it provides network isolation. And number three, it provides digital asset protection. What does process isolation look like? Every dApp will be secured by the Elastos runtime, and all HTTP slash HTTPS calls are disabled, which prevents almost all cyber attacks from happening. DDoS and man-in-the-middle attacks are all done for. So what does network isolation look like, and how does it provide digital asset protection? All online data exchanges between virtual machine sandboxes are required to be sent through the secure, trustworthy, and identifiable channel realized by the Elastos Carrier Network. So the carrier itself can be thought of as a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network that is autonomous and self-running, supported by the carrier nodes in the network. How is a carrier channel identifiable? Through the Elastos main chain, which can be likened to the trust zone of the smart web. Elastos IDs are secured through merged mining with the most secure blockchain in the world, the Bitcoin blockchain. The Elastos blockchain is for consensus logic, consensus of IDs on the ID sidechain, and consensus of the transfer of payments, or ELA tokens. So, since we now know how the channels are identifiable, we now know that this ensures personal data assets and private personal data are not leaked. Anytime a dApp requests data from the internet, the Elastos carrier takes over the traffic and conveys that info on the application's behalf. 
What this does is guarantees that dApps are not allowed to send any sort of network packet anywhere it is not authorized to do so by the carrier. There are no more IP address with the last of smart web to talk to, which guarantees no more chances of malicious network packets sent to a destination address. Everything and everyone on the last of smart web is blacklisted by default. In order to even talk to another device from an application, the two parties need to have established trust and become a type of friends. Like I mentioned before, the IDs are highly important. As you know, you can trust the person and you know the person. And these all come from what? The Elastos ID sidechain, which is authenticated by the Elastos main chain. Every user, every device, every application gets their own decentralized ID and trust relationships between two parties, which could be app to app, device to app, device to device, user to device, and user to app, and even user to user, is transmitted to the Elastos runtime, which authenticates the carrier to release the data. This relationship between the runtime, carrier, and IDs is what powers all the different applications running through the Elastos ecosystem. So let's now talk about the side chains of Elastos. We know about the decentralized identity side chain, but all dApps will be their own smart contract side chains. Elastos is taking a contrarian view of scaling to Ethereum, as Ethereum doesn't divide the trust consensus and computational consensus models, and all dApps operate directly on the blockchain. Elastos does this divide. So we now understand that Elastos provides a secure and trustworthy operating environment, but they split smart contract logic and consensus to its own sidechain, thus reshaping the form of dApps. The dApps of Elastos are much different compared to Ethereum. dApps on Ethereum are only for running smart contract and its logic, limiting the types of dApps by design, while the dApps of Elastos are for any application out there that has computational logic, meaning any app out there, Telegram, Facebook, Snapchat, can become Elastos dApp with some simple tweaks. Another major problem with Ethereum is the plagiarizing of content. You would think with the blockchain, content would be ultimately secured. It's true, Ethereum has provenance for data content generated by its users, but is unable to protect against its plagiarism, thus making the content unable to produce true value. What this means is that while the ownership and management of digital assets like movies, music, or crypto kitty can be recorded on the blockchain and secured by the immutability of the records, the content itself, the code, what it actually is, is not protected by the blockchain, making it impossible to prevent privacy and plagiarism of the data content. The future, you guys, is so bright with Elastos. The smart web already supports hidden HTTP, as well as the traditional browser server and client server online application models. The smart web alpha is already out and developers can begin playing around with the fundamentals. The Elastos smart contracts, yes, Elastos is creating their own smart contracts, will be released and online at the end of 2018, and it will be in cooperation with the smart web beta. The final product of the Smart Web dApp will be released in early 2019, initiating the beginning of a new internet, one with priority for large-scale internet applications. We'll see you soon, decentralized Facebook. Cheers, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.